Melania just sent massive gift to kids at U.S. school but anti-Trump librarian has sick use for it. Ever since Donald Trump was elected last year, the left has been throwing one heck of a temper tantrum. Every which way you turn, these rabid liberals are busy spewing their lies and concocting plans to oust the 45th president of the United States, instead of jumping on board with Trump to make America great again. Not only do these petulant leftists attack President Trump, but they're also hell-bent on destroying our lovely First Lady Melania Trump as well. Those in the angry feminazi brigade attack Melania on everything from her accent to her style of footwear to crush her spirit. So, it is no surprise that when an anti-Trump librarian received a gift from Melania for the school library, that she would refuse it. But the reason behind this liberal's refusal has people scratching their heads. When Michelle Obama was the first lady, the left could not stop swooning over her. If Michelle wore a garbage bag as a dress, these Obama worshippers would declare it edgy, and everyone would wear it. However, when Melania Trump wore heels on Air Force One, there were articles for days dedicated to proving that male chauvinism exists in the White House. Well, if you thought that was ridiculous, wait till you hear this one. One school from each state was chosen to receive a set of Dr. Seuss books that for National Read a Book Day. These books are a childhood favorite for many people growing up which is why they are still used to this day. However, the librarian at Cambridgeport Elementary School didn't think the books were good enough, and denied the delivery. The librarian believes that these books were not good enough and chastised Melania for her generous gift. Many parents in the school agreed with the librarian's choice, but there were other parents who did not feel the same way and perceived as a blatant snub to the first lady. Here is more CBS Boston. The librarian at the Cambridgeport Elementary School is saying no thanks to a shipment of books from First Lady Melania Trump. One school from each state was chosen by the White House to receive 10 Dr. Seuss books as part of National Read a Book Day. Getting an education is perhaps the most important and wondrous opportunity of your young lives, Mrs. Trump said in a letter to the children who will be receiving books. The school's librarian, Viz Phipps So Aero, wrote a lengthy editorial for the Horn Books family reading blog explaining why her school does not need the books. My students have access to a school library with over 9,000 volumes and a librarian with a graduate degree in library science. Multiple studies show that schools with professionally staffed libraries improve student performance, wrote Phipps Soeiro. The librarian's editorial also criticizes the First Lady's book selections, which include The Cat in the Hat, One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish, The Foot Book, Green Eggs and Ham, and Oh, The Places You'll Go. You may not be aware of this, but Dr. Seuss is a bit of a cliché, a tired and worn ambassador for children's literature. As First Lady of the United States, you have an incredible platform with world-class resources at your fingertips. Parents picking their children up outside the elementary school on Wednesday were quick to support the librarian. That's the librarian's prerogative and I support her decision, said parent Eric Munson. I think the letter is really articulate, constructive in its suggestions, said parent Alex Van Pratt. The Cambridge School System says the opinions in the editorial do not represent the district and released a statement, which says in part. In this instance, the employee was not authorized to accept or reject donated books on behalf of the school or school district. We have counseled the employee on all relevant policies, including the policy against public resources being used for political purposes. People outside the school district around Cambridge Wednesday night were also quick to chime in. So I don't have a very strong opinion, but I think it could definitely be interpreted as an insult to the First Lady, said Elizabeth Bijov. Oh well Dr. Seuss for us yeah we always used to read books as kids and have our parents read him to us. We actually had at my sister's wedding my brother read a Dr. Seuss poem, said Simon Tyson. Of course there are better books out there, but these books are a staple in most homes around the world. Man people grew up reading these books as children and passed them down to their own as a family tradition. These books are a great tool to use when teaching children to read at a younger age because of their rhyming scheme and colorful images.
This woman obviously has a bone to pick with President Trump and chose to use her position to air it publicly by insulting Melania. Thankfully, the school spoke with this myth librarian, but you can bet this won't the last time she will openly maligning the first family.